the U.S. has unveiled the list of countries that will receive its second wave of COVID vaccine donations, a total of 55 million doses. Although Taiwan is on the list, sources say that it will not be receiving a second round of donations. According to the Central News Agency, the U.S. had expedited the shipment of its entire donation to Taiwan, a total of 2.5 million doses, which were flown into Taoyuan last Sunday. Last Sunday evening, a flight carrying 2.5 million doses of the Moderna vaccine touched down in Taiwan. It was a gesture of friendship that moved many in Taiwan. It also provoked anger from Beijing. For their own selfish political gains, the DPP authorities constantly seek political manipulation over anti-epidemic cooperation, showing disregard of the lives and the health of Taiwan compatriots and violating the basic humanitarian spirit. We urge the U.S. side not to use vaccine aid for political maneuvers or interference in China's internal affairs. On Monday, Washington unveiled its latest list of countries that will receive its vaccine donations. Today, the Biden-Harris administration announced the distribution list for the remaining 55 million of the 80 million doses of America's own vaccine supply. President Biden has pledged to send out globally. Uh, and allocate by the end of June in service of ending the pandemic. The White House, which will donate 80 million doses, has announced the countries to get vaccines in its second wave of shipments. Although Taiwan is on the list, the Central News Agency reports that Taiwan will not be receiving additional doses in the second wave. According to its sources, the U.S. shipped its second wave donation to Taiwan ahead of time last Sunday to meet its urgent need. Already, we have sent millions of doses to the world, including 2.5 million doses that arrived in Taiwan this weekend. The U.S. has shipped out less than 10 million doses so far, falling short of its original target. The White House press secretary said there have been logistical challenges and that language barriers have caused delays. A senior U.S. official told Reuters that Taiwan's donation was sent quickly because experts on both sides were able to work out regulatory issues. As we work with countries, uh, we need to ensure that there's uh, safety and regulatory information is shared. Uh, some supply teams need needles, syringes and alcohol pads. Uh, transportation needs, uh, teams need to ensure that there are proper temperature storage, pre prevent breakage and ensure the vaccine immediately clears customs. In its second wave of donations, Washington will send 55 million doses, 16 million for Asia, 14 million for Latin America and the Caribbean and 10 million for Africa. The remaining 14 million doses are set aside for regional priorities and other recipients.